Red Bull versus Red Thunder. Which one's best? Which one's best value for money? Does this wake you up more? Does this send you to sleep? Is this actually really good value for money? Is this a waste of time? Let's find out. Now, how on earth do you open the pack of these? Literally can't work out how to open this packet. Okay, we're going to rip it. It's easier. One Red Bull. Okay, first off the bat, Red Bull, you seem to hide your information on the back. Red Thunder, you put it straight in the front. Makes it a lot easier for me to read these cans. So, one can of Red Thunder is 54 calories, 12 grams of sugar. One can of Red Bull, oh no, they've made it more difficult than it needs to be. They've done it per 100 mil. Red Bull, why do you have to make it more difficult? Why can't you just say what's on the bloody can? Basically, about 130 calories, about 35 grams of sugar. So it's pretty much three times the amount of sugar, three times the amount of calories. So surely that means three times the wake up. These are stone cold because if you don't live in England, it is minus five. It's absolutely freezing in March. It really should be much warmer than this. I absolutely hate it. Let's give Red Bull a try. Such a satisfying noise. Right. Smell test. Ooh. It's been actually a while since I've smelled a Red Bull properly. Hmm, okay. Just smells, smells of like something you'd put in your car, like engine oil or something. Hmm, okay, right, let's give it a go. Oh, whoa, a lot of sugar. Oh, okay. Hmm. Flavour. I don't really know what's in the flavour. I ain't got a clue. I'm gonna clue what it's supposed to taste like. All I can taste is pure sugar. Okay, that's Red Bull. It's good, but pretty sure these were like one pound eighty or something for two cans. All right. Let's give Red Thunder a try. Red Thunder. Red Thunder, this just smells like weak oil. Doesn't smell like proper engine oil. That one does. This one doesn't. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, okay. Same kind of flavour profile, to be fair. Hmm. I'm not massively keen on either of them. I thought I would be. Now, if I was going purely on taste, I'd go with Red Bull. Now, the reason being is that you can actually taste some fruitiness to it. I'm not so keen on the smell of it. I think if you, choo if you choose to smell it, it's a bit... That one's manageable. Apparently, it vitalises body and mind. I highly doubt it does. But, of course, they're the claims that they're making. And it's a registered trademark, apparently. So, Red Bull versus Red Thunder. We're talking significant price difference here. We're talking like Red Bull is like three times more expensive per can at the very minimum. If you get Red Bull on offer, it's not too bad, but very rarely are you going to want to have loads and loads of Red Bulls because it's going to be too expensive. Red Thunder, if you really want an energy drink, go ahead with it. Now, it's got far less sugar in it, so it's really good for you. But I imagine there's tons of sweeteners, sugar and sweeteners. Let's check the Red Bull, see if there's sweeteners in it as well. So I think that's where it's coming from. So this tastes different because it's pretty much pure sugar. This one tastes different because it's got sugar and then the sweeteners. Now that's to bring the sugar amount down. Now obviously then try and avoid the sugar tax, things like that I imagine they're trying to do. And obviously it's probably just cheaper to use sweeteners that is actual sugar most likely. If I was gonna rate these, I'd give the Red Bull a two for smell. I'd give Red Thunder probably a five because it doesn't smell as bad. Taste-wise, now it's interesting, right? It depends what you're going for. So I hate the amount of sugar that's in there because that's all I can taste. But it does have a nice fruity aftertaste. So for that reason, I'd have to give it a seven or an eight. So we'll go with 7.5. Now the Red Thunder, because it's got less sugar and more sweeteners, I think it's easily palatable. So because of that, it doesn't really have much flavor per se, but I think it's easier to down it. So I'd probably give that one a nine. This is on the basis that the idea of having an energy drink is not to sit and enjoy it, it's literally to perk yourself up. There are plenty of other energy drinks out there if you wanna go for flavor specifically. But I feel like Red Thunder, Red Bull, these are the kind of ones where you just drink it just to feel the perked up. You don't really drink it much for the flavor. Some people probably do like Red Bull, but I mean, 
it's not that amazing. It's more marketing, isn't it, really? So that's the results, short and sweet. Hit the subscribe button down below for more content. And until then, see you next time. Ciao.